Hi, I'm Keandra Bailey, and I'm studying Communications and Media Technology at Central Texas College. Here's Bruce Bassbinder with what's happening on Eagle Eye. The Fine Arts Department presented its fall production, Ugly Lies the Bone, last month. The play follows Jess, portrayed by Miranda Coons, as she returns home after three tours of military service in Afghanistan and tries to confront her traumatic experiences using pioneering virtual reality therapy to build her own world by which she is able to start to mend and heal various relationships and her own life. In other fine arts news, the music department held its fall semester student music showcase, which featured a variety of holiday and Christmas music performed by the CTC choir, the CTC band, and solo and ensemble performances by students in the individual instruction classes. Proceeds from the concert will benefit the Fine Arts Concert Series Music Scholarship Fund. The CTC Foundation held a reception in November to recognize nearly 220 students who received more than $368,950 in scholarships for the 2018-19 academic year. The online scholarship application will open again on January 1, 2019 for scholarships to be used during the fall 2019 and spring 2020 semesters. For more information, contact the CTC Foundation at 254-526-1662. More than 30 local students took the oath, signed the induction form, and received membership certificates as new members of the CTC Sigma Iota Chapter of the Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society. Phi Theta Kappa is the official honor society of two-year colleges and is the largest honor society in American higher education with more than 2.5 million members. The Sigma Iota chapter opened at CTC in 1968. Students are required to maintain at least a 3.5 grade point average and have completed at least 30 college credit hours at CTC. During the fall semester, 98 new members were inducted at CTC sites across the globe. The Communications Department held the Fall Semester Speaker Showcase in the Campus Library last month. Eight students enrolled in public speaking classes were selected as finalists to compete and present an informative or persuasive speech. First place was won by Danica Komlatsky for her informative speech, Just the Way You Are. In second place was Alexis Lanier for an informative speech entitled The Effects of Mental Illness on My Life. And earning third place honors was Christopher Sangasi for his informative speech on concussions. Graduation ceremonies will be held next week for students completing their CTC studies this fall. The overall graduation ceremony will be Thursday at 6.30 p.m. at the Colleen Civic and Conference Center. Also that day, the Department of Nursing and Allied Health will hold a pinning ceremony for students completing the vocational nursing program at 10 a.m., a graduation ceremony for students in the histology program at 12 p.m., and a pinning ceremony for those in the associate degree in nursing program at 2 p.m. All three ceremonies will be held at the Anderson Campus Center. The fall semester book buyback is underway now through December 18th at the CTC Bookstore. Students can sell their books back for cash Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Friday, 8 to 11 a.m. CTC is assisting communities and schools annual Shoes for Kids drive. Please consider donating a pair of new or gently worn shoes to benefit high school, middle school, and elementary school children registered in the CIS program. Shoe donations of all sizes and ages will be accepted. The campus drop-off location is the Student Lounge inside the Student Center, Building 106. The deadline to donate shoes is Friday, December 14th. The Student Nurse Association held its fall semester blood drive in November. Students and employees donated the gift of life inside the Carter Blood Care bus, which was parked at the campus center. The blood drive is one of several community service projects conducted by the Student Nurse Association, and the next blood drive will be held during the spring semester. CTC offered the public a chance to get a jump on Christmas shopping with the 23rd annual A Christmas Affair, Craft Sale and Bazaar held in early November in the Anderson Campus Center. Numerous vendors were on hand selling a variety of products including handmade crafts, jewelry, kitchenware, bath and body needs, cosmetics, home decor items, candles, gourmet foods, Christmas gifts, and a host of other items. Shoppers also had the chance to win door prizes and participate in a silent auction. The CTC Central and Service Area campuses will be closed December 21st through January 2nd for the holidays. Administrative offices will reopen and registration and academic advisement will resume on Thursday, January 3rd. During the holiday break, students who have completed the admissions advisement process can register for spring 2019 semester classes using CTC's Web Advisor system. 
contact students not near a CTC site. CTC staff members will periodically monitor and respond to email messages and go Army Ed help desk cases. However, responses will not be immediate. And to ensure students receive assistance, they are encouraged to open a Go Army Ed help desk case. During the holidays, students will still have access to virtual library services, including the Ask a Librarian email service and the Research Assistance Paper Review Service. Now from our CTC family to yours, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a joyous holiday season. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all the students, faculty, and staff. Have a prosperous and joyous Christmas and return safely after the holidays. <laughs>